I'm speaking to you from the campus of the University of Kent where the Lambeth Conference has gotten underway. We're beginning the conference in a retreat. The Archbishop of Canterbury is leading the bishops of the church in a three-day retreat uh, within the precincts of Canterbury Cathedral. It's important uh, that we begin this way. The Archbishop has set a tone from the very beginning that this conference will be steeped in prayer, marinated in prayer, and that's surely the right way to begin. Yesterday he shared with us images of the gathering Christ, a phrase he uses to describe Jesus as the one who gathers us together, but also to describe the church as the body of Christ gathered from the four corners of the world. It's obvious here when you look around at the immense variety of languages and cultures and theological perspectives that are represented and yet we're all gathered uh, together here around the one Christ. Bishops and spouses, uh, laypersons and other clergy gathered to do the work of the church in this conference. You will hear various reports undoubtedly in the press. The British press has been interesting to read in the lead up to the Lambeth Conference. But I want to tell you that the tone is one of profound respect and uh, worship. Above all things, worship. We're gathered here to worship the one God in Christ and the power of the Spirit. And that's the theme that I hope, I pray, will prevail uh, when we begin uh, the work of the conference outside the time of retreat. But for now, I'm getting ready to go uh, down to the cathedral for day two of the retreat. Uh, for now, I want to ask you to join your prayers with ours, to join in the Bible study uh, considering John's Gospel. You can find the links to our daily readings for Bible study on our website or on the Lambeth Conference website. Thank you for your prayers and your faithfulness in the Diocese of Chicago. You are all here with me and with Bishop Scandalberry as we pray our way into this time of consultation and learning and building relationships across the breadth of the Anglican Communion. God bless you.